Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to my porch. I'm here again with Charlie, who's very interested in this unboxing. Uh, so today I have something from Fashion File. I just happen to be browsing. I'm always looking for a little something uh, as a work bag. Uh, I like to rotate my bags. I've never taken a Louis Vuitton bag to work. I just, I don't know, it doesn't qu quite feel right uh, with the, the monogram. But I saw this on um, Fashion File and it looked intriguing. So I'm anxious to unbox it and to see if it's kind of what I expected in terms of being understated for a possibility of a work bag for me. So I just cut the, um, the tape here. <laughs> Charlie's already got his nose into it. So let's see. Let's open her up. So it's whoa. So it's April. There went the the file. It's April, and we've got uh, calendars, and we've got the fun Fetty coming still. Of course. Here's the bag. feels quite hefty in terms of the structure I can feel um, when it's uh, you know when I squeeze this through the dust bag there's resistance all right Charlie are you getting in there we'll see Yeah, he is. Okay. Here, Charlie, let's put it on the floor so you don't topple over. All right, so here we go. Here she is. Look at this. Yeah, so it is monogram, but not the traditional canvas monogram. So this is leather. I forgot the name of this bag. Willwood? Let me look it up real quick. Willwood, W-I-L-W-O-O-D. And from my limited research, I think it came in Vernie and also this matte leather. Um, I w was really intrigued by this um, embossed or debossed monogram because I thought it wasn't so showy and I know the light here is on it so it might be hard to really get a read for it but wow that, that really reflects the light doesn't it there I think you get a good read for it I think it's beautiful So the leather, I mean, the uh, hardware is silver, which is a bit unexpected. Oh, look at that silver hardware. And I really um, was interested in this two-tone color leather. So black with this um, Bichetta Brown. And then on the sides, there's a little bit of this piping coming down with the brown. I was also very excited about the idea of external pockets. So for me, when I go to work, I have um, two things that I know I need to get to really quickly. One is my uh, work keys to get me into my office, and the other is my phone. I just need to know exactly where those are so let's try these two pockets out and see if see how they work how big they are how they're constructed so this is a snap Ooh, with a magnet and then let's see how big oh it has a gusset look that's a big pocket Look how far my hand goes down in there. 
all the way down. That's a really sizable pocket. I don't know how much we can get in and then it's still snap, but you know, that's, let's, let's find out. At least, uh, here, so here's a phone case for uh, my 13 Pro Max. Oh yeah. Okay, so no problem. So one of these pockets can be for my phone and very easily this other pocket can be for my my work keys, uh, work keys, work ID. We'll go in here. Whoops. That will slide in. Let's see. So that's a little bit thicker than my phone. Yeah. No problem. You can see the profile there. This just comes out a little bit further. All right. Now let's see what the inside of the bag looks like. It has a zip top. I just noticed here's a little bit the um, the condition of the leather under the handles there. Like I said, it's very structured and it's very black inside. Mm -hmm. So this wall here has a zipper and this upper wall here has two slip pockets. One is smaller than the other. Let me turn around so you can see the zipper yeah I know when you look down here in here aha uh -huh. and the there's a little um, a ring under oh, it's a very nice sizable zipper pocket there's a little ring um, for attaching, I guess, anything you don't want to lose or anything you want to be extra secure under that zipper if you want to use it. The interior looks to be very clean, which I know won't pick up here in the, um, in the light, but it's very clean. Like, extremely clean. So for me, for work, um, I have uh, one criteria for my work bags, and it's because I'm old fashioned and I still use a handwritten um, calendar slash planner, which is this. And it has to be able to, I have to take this with me every day for work. And of course that slides in there. No problem, room to spare. So this could be a, a, a very nice uh, work bag. I'm just, I just wasn't expecting this condition here on, under this handle. Um, I mean, under this, the hardware attaching the handle. I'm not sure if that was shown on the, the photos. That's the only surprise that I have. Fashion File did show where at the bottom of the bag. Here along the seams, which seems to me to look better in person than it did in the photos. It's just, to me, looks like normal weather wear and tear. But this bag is so well constructed that like, I mean, it seems that seems like nothing along the bottom here. So that that is my only concern um, is this situation here. 
but let's try it on and see how it feels uh, on the shoulder. Charlie's still enjoying the box down there. So let's see, I guess ideally the black side. I love the slim profile of this bag. I think that would feel that fits nicely under my shoulder. I can imagine, you know, just putting this on, holding it here, going in um, to work. I think it feels feels very nice. And I think it looks um, very elegant. Then I can access my keys, phone, and go on in. What do you think? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about this bag? Do any of you have this bag? Or know people that have this bag? How does it, how does it wear, um, you know, besides this little bit of a wear here on the bottom, which I think is to be expected, how do, how do these straps wear? Is that um, something I should be concerned about here? So yeah, let me know. Let me know what what you think. Um, I mean, I just I just think it's a really really interesting and um, unique bag. So if you have some insight to share, I'd be very happy to read it in the comments. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.